the health of North America, life expectancy in North America is declining. And it's not because of raw milk. And the, and the assumption that you get sick from raw milk last year in the United States, the winter of 2012, 2013, 24 million people contracted normal virus. Projectile vomiting, sicker than a dog for four or five days. Many people died. And you know, statistically, over the last year, 250 people got sick from raw milk. It's, it's ridiculous. In the meantime, raw milk spread the solution and this whole uh, whole foods, uh, clean food, uh, unprocessed food, and uh, it's good to be part of solving this massive health problem we have in the country. Alvin, you certainly uh, saw some of the benefits from having uh, broad community support, and uh, what, what have you learned from that? I mean, you, you, you had your, your supporters sitting there in the jury, and, and, and and uh, probably influence, excuse me, sitting there in the, in the, among the spectators, influencing the jury. How did, uh, uh, but what, what, what have you learned from um, the, the uh, interface with the community that you had there, the very special interaction with the community? You can't explain how, um, when that verdict came to uh, three times not guilty, uh, I was not surprised by any means. I didn't even have any reaction to it until I turned around and saw all these moms and kids jumping up and down and hugging and uh, I implored me. It, it's that important. It's, it's, I, I don't know if it was, uh, I think some of them liked me a little bit, but most of them are just really happy to have a connection to local food. and. And having some obvious rights, they like you, know, you, but they like their food better. <laughs> have priorities. No, uh, we're talking about everybody has the capability of growing some kind of food. I think it, uh, we have to give our uh, kids a chance. You know, stick a seed in the ground and then watch what happens. Uh, you know. Take them to a farm and see a baby chicken, and then go back in, in two months and see a, a potentially a, a freezer bag with with a frozen chicken in it. But we have to get reconnect with nature, uh, respect our Creator. Uh, all of these things are what's missing in our communities now. We're not. We're not talking to each other, we're not talking to our, our family. Uh, in the farming community, there's so much competition that you can't, you can't even tell your neighbor where you're getting your seat from because they might now become competitive with you. You know, we don't, we have like 20 farms connected in, in our food system now and everybody is uh, willing to share information. We've, we've got an Amish farmer growing barley grass in the middle of winter to feed his cows because the cost of hay is so high. And it's, these guys don't, you know, look at a, a projection sheet or a, a database to decide if they're going to do something or not. If, it, if, it, if the good Lord points it and puts it in front of them, they're going to consider it, you know. And it's, we have to start trusting ourselves again. And uh, my son will put something up on our website right off the get-go. He's, he's, he's a 10-year graduate of high school now. He's been in Brooklyn, New York for 10 years. Uh, Hippocrates quote, or, uh, you know, uh, let your medicine be your food. Let your food be your medicine. And, uh, we have to concentrate on that level of quality of food that you can't find anywhere.